Okay, so here's a uh, really quick, really messy update of the Nerf gun controller, Nerf gun automatic controller. So these are the uh, three wires that are actually going into the electronics of the Nerf gun. Those all come over here to this prototype board. And uh, this prototype board actually controls those using these two Darlington transistors. There's also two voltage regulators on here. One is used to uh, power up the 5 volts for the, uh, uh, the actual motors on the Nerf gun. And the other 5 volt regulator is uh, separated just for noise concerns. And that actually just uh, powers up the PIC controller and any other low voltage items here. So this is actually on and running. And what we see on the display here is uh, an infrared off, infrared on, and a difference value. So what that is, we have an infrared LED right here. And we have an infrared transistor, which is that guy right there, that clear one. And so what's happening is it's actually turning this infrared LED off and it samples what the value is. Then it turns the infrared LED on and samples it again. And it gives me the difference here. And so based on that difference, we can tell if the beam is broken or not. So I'll break the beam and show you what happens. The unit fires a dart and it stages. So what that means is basically the two motors in here spin up and once they're up to speed, which I believe is uh, about half a second or so, then the motor in here um, fires a dart. Let's see that one more time. And there's also a test push button here. I can simulate the firing. For more information, go to hackedgadgets.com.